The chant, United We Stand, Divided We Fall, was echoing through campus this Wednesday as protesters show their concern with the results of this year's presidential election. Pedro Gomez witnessed a large group walking through dining halls protesting to get the attention of students. I was in Cooper when the first batch of uh, protesters came in and I think, you know, I think it's good for them that they're voicing their opinion and they're expressing themselves. The voices need to be heard and that everyone should understand that there is unrest going on. Most students describe the results to this election as surprising, saying that Hillary seemed to be the dominant candidate. When we saw that he was making it a close race, we decided to watch more and more. We got food, everyone hung out, watched it all unfold, and very surprised by the final uh, decision. Pretty crazy. And when Florida was looking like it could go either way, it was a little intriguing. So we stuck around and watched, and uh, Florida ended up going Trump's way and uh, kind of opened the rest of it up. Uh. As you can see from the state map, Hillary thought that the Hispanic community would be enough to carry Florida, but Trump's working class supporters put him over the edge. I was actually in Florida last week and um, he was in Florida as well uh, for at least a day. So um, his efforts didn't just let up. Nick Schmidt says going forward, America is going to have to come together. He's going to have to do something in office that really brings everyone together. And for me, it's his foreign policy. His foreign policy would be big. Come together or fall apart from fear. Only time will tell. From SUNY Oswego, Kathleen Haynes reporting.